all of a sudden I hear this loud bang on my wall, like, like as if someone like punched it or something. Hello everyone, it's Just Jess, and today I'm going to be telling you a story time, if you couldn't tell by the title, um, about ghosts. So I'm actually really excited to share this one with you guys, because I actually really want your opinion on the paranormal or ghosts, if you have an opinion on that kind of thing. Me personally, I don't really. <laughs> like, this is a story about ghosts, and... I don't know, I'm still not sure if I believe in ghosts really, but these two events were just so weird, I don't know how else you would explain them. <laughs> I just remember it freaked me out, it's been a while, I don't really tell the story very often, but I was just thinking about it the other day and I figured I might as well share it with you guys and get your opinion. So yeah, without further ado, we're just gonna get right into it. So I'd say this took place probably like five years ago, something like that. Um, it was at my old house. And there's two events that I'm going to talk about, both that creeped me out and creeped my siblings out, and none of us could explain it, so <laughs> here we are. Alright, so the first event, and the scariest in my opinion, was, okay, so I was sleeping, right? It was, it was kind of the morning, but I was still sleeping, hadn't gotten up yet, and I am a very light sleeper. Um, things easily wake me up. If someone just opens my door, I usually wake up. They don't even have to say anything or do anything. They just open my door and I'm up. <laughs> so I was laying in bed sleeping, like I said, and all of a sudden I'm like half asleep because all of a sudden I hear this loud bang on my wall, like like as if someone like punched it or something, and it like half woke me up because like I said I'm a light sleeper and I was like what the heck was that? I assumed it came from like the other side of the wall, like one of my siblings were up and they dropped something or hit something or did something. So I was like, whatever, and I went back to bed. Well, a couple hours later, when I did get up, I was looking for my phone that I had set on my bedside table, and I couldn't find it anywhere. Lo and behold, after searching for a while, I found it on the floor next to the wall where I heard the loud bang. What the heck? I'm not known for doing stuff in my sleep. I don't think that I would have picked up my phone and chucked it in my sleep. That, that just doesn't make sense to me. Like, <laughs> okay, I know it sounds crazy if you don't believe in ghosts, which probably a lot of you don't, but it literally seemed like someone picked up my phone, got angry, and threw it at the wall. Like, it was a loud bang, and I was, like, isn't that weird? That's not just me, right? Like, it freaked me out. I was so confused. So I went out of my room and I was literally asking everyone, I was like, did somebody like come in my room and throw my phone or something? Or like, I just, I was so confused and everyone was, had no idea what I was talking about, obviously. And I told them and they were just as like creeped out as I was and that's all, that, that's all that ever happened with that. <laughs> so yeah, give me your opinion. Freaky, not freaky. Maybe I did just sleep, throw it at my wall, but that seems really unlikely to me. So it's probably a ghost. <laughs> Alright, but then the second example, it's not as creepy, but it's still weird. So I went to go take a shower, and every time before I shower I turn on the fan, because otherwise it gets too humid in there, you know. So I turn on the fan, I get undressed, I take my shower, and I get out and I leave, right? Okay. So I do that usual routine, right? I turn on the fan, get undressed, get in the shower, I finish showering, I get out of the shower, and the fan is off. Like, what? <laughs> like, I know I turned it on because I heard it. Like, it would have been weird to not turn it on because it was just part of my daily routine. So, the fact that it was just off was very confusing. And, again, I asked my siblings, I was like, nobody came in the bathroom while I was showering and turned off the fan, right? Like, that wouldn't make any sense, right? <laughs> nobody knew what I was talking about yet again. So, yeah, that's my uh, other uh, thought about there being a ghost, I don't know why I would want to turn off my fan and shower, but you know, teach their own, I guess. But yeah, I mean, there were other like small things here and there that I was kind of like, it's a ghost. And my siblings all agreed and we all were like, yeah, it's our family ghost, it's no big deal. Uh, but yeah, I don't really remember the other instances, they weren't really as big. Those were the two main ones that I remember. And again, I think they're still really freaky. You guys let me know what you think. Do you believe in ghosts? Should I believe in ghosts? Should I just assume that I'm losing my mind? Maybe that is what happened. I don't know. But yeah, so that's it for today. I'm sorry it was a short video today. Um, but I just really want your opinion because I just, I still, 
to this day, like, like I said, it was five years ago, and I still don't know what happened. So I'd like your guys' opinion. So if you could leave that in the comments below, that would be great. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that you like my story times or like videos similar to this. Um, and of course, subscribe for videos similar to this. <laughs> also, don't forget to hit that little bell icon, which will update you when I upload. And of course, lastly, all my social media links are down in the description below. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, please leave me your opinion. I'm dying to know. And yeah, I will see you guys next week. <laughs> Bye.